Kislev, our motherland, is dying. A dark winter devours our fairer seasons. It has been custom for our god, Ursan, the great bear, to break each winter with his roar. Yet, for seven long years, he has fallen into silence. And so the ice thickens. Our prayers go unanswered. The people suffer. The Queen has sent me to investigate, to lead an expedition in search of Ursan. I am to make contact with our northernmost outpost, Dervingar. It was there, on the edge of the Chaos Wastes. Our God's voice was last heard. Our journey has been long and perilous. The dead outnumber the living. We are lost. We are alone. Your orders, Prince Yuri. Fuel for the fires. Extra rations for the wounded. Sir, this expedition has failed. We must turn south, head back to Kisle. But we've come so far. We push north, find Dervingard. It's madness! We cannot survive wandering the Chaos Wastes like beggars! Yuri, brother, we must not abandon our duty. The people of Kislev depend on us. You'll have my decision by dawn. Ursan, each day I pray. You do not answer. This is our darkest night. Can you not see Kislev suffering? Help us! Show me a sign! Answer me! Then Kislev is lost. I answer in my time of need. Ursan! I wake in darkness, bound in shadow. Guide me! I can save you! I am weak, so you alone shall hear my voice. I will lead you to Derengard, your first step to finding me. Follow my voice. We move north. The Howling Citadel was mine. Much had been sacrificed. I feel no remorse, only power. Through this portal lies my god. I am ready. from the shadow. I am the shadow. Velikor, where is Orson? Ah, yes. The god who abandoned Kislev. Lies. He led me here. My voice led you here. I spoke as Orson, answered when he would not. What deception is this? Your fate has been guided by my hand. Skolden, 
curse. Your brother, placed in your way by me. Stones to sharpen you. Why? Because gods are selfish. They will betray you as they betrayed me. I have freed you from their burden. What I did, I did for Ursan. You did it for yourself. Took what your heart desired. Look how you've reveled in your dark baptism. Where is he? Let me show you what you hold so dear. Tell me, what do you see? Weakness. A beast unworthy of my faith. Of the blood spilt in his name. The reason Kislev suffers. Yuri, son of Kislev. Belakor uses you for his own gain. End this misery. Free me. You can be greater than Ursa. Save his love. Take his power. Take his place. Not die here. Gods of chaos, I lie here broken, frail by my god, cast out by Belakor. I have tasted but a morsel of your power. Look at what I have achieved! Let me feast upon it. Kislev will be mine, and together. We will serve you. Bestow me with your terrible grace. of the Norse and the Kurgan. There is legend of a warrior unparalleled. A champion forged in the heart of fear, who reached into the grave and found only hate. Such hate is to become a nightmare. 
It is to wield dread as lesser men wield armies. It is to become fear itself. It is to become the Hammer Storm. As the four ruinous powers play their great game, so too must their champions. Forever pursuing their patron's favor. To be favored is to be blessed. But others will always come, seeking to claim their prize. to prove their worth. Now the time has come to reap what has been sown. The true test awaits. This world has been sundered by a tide of arcane energy. The winds of magic churned into a maelstrom. The Tome of Fate drew me north to find out why. It guided me to a distant fortress steeped in blood. A battle was fought there. Though long over, the spirit still lingered. In the shadow of a broken portal, the trail ended. It was here the tome conversed with the dead. They told of Urson, the bear god of Kislev, lost in darkness. A noble prince ventured to save him, yet he strayed from the path and was corrupted by chaos. Savior became executioner. A single shot, bound in faith forsaken, pierced Urson's heart. And so the bear god roared. The tide that broke the world. Spirits, where lies Urson now? Is he here? In the north. Beyond the maelstrom, in the realm of chaos, in the forge of souls. Is he alive? Wounded and dying, and risen in shadow. What shadow? A demon's? A master of the dark. Yeah. 
I knew who shackled the bear. Bellacor. Only a fool would challenge Bellacor. And yet, the power of a dying god, there is no greater prize. A mere drop of Ursan's blood would break my curse, ending my servitude to this accursed book. Free to profit from its secrets. But Ursan is locked in the forge of souls, deep in the realm of chaos, and I cannot enter this nightmarish domain. All roots have been sealed by the maelstrom. There must be a way. Ah, the tome unveils a spell to summon a portal. One to bypass the maelstrom and create a door into chaos. Knowledge to bargain, for I need an ally. One who is tempted by the power of the god bear and can withstand the horrors within. A new evil enters the world. A prince of Kislev, reborn a prince of darkness, a champion of the Chaos Gods. Kislev will fall. It will kneel before me, before Chaos. You think too small for one so powerful. Uh, have you forgotten, Sealer? I killed Ursa. Why stop at Kislev when you can give chaos the world? 
No more twisted words. Wait. Urson lives. You lie. Wounded and dying by your hand. But alive, the Shadow has him still. <laughs> Belakor will pay for his betrayal. <laughs> the god bears power. It is yours for the taking. So take it. The realm of chaos cannot be entered. No one can cross the maelstrom. I can. I will guide you back to the Forge of Souls. All I require is one drop of Ursa's blood. Finish the job you started, mighty God Slayer. God Slayer. World Slayer. Ursa's power is mine. You have led your kin through the mountain pass. Once more, the light of Kislev shines in the darkness of the Chaos Wastes. Our comrades fear this land. Their doubt cannot stop us. We fight those who worship blood and fire. Match their rage with our own. of lesser men must not sway you from the righteous path. Offer no mercy. End his reign of bloodshed. You hold sin in your hand. I hold strength in my hand. Our journey has just begun. Together, we will roar to melt the snows. Together, we free Kislev of this winter. Are you still my brother? Yuri! Don't be a fool, Garrick. Does he not guide me? A nation in mourning. False news has arrived before me. They believe Ursun is already dead. My proposition will require a delicate touch. I speak the truth. Your god is not dead. He lies in the realm of chaos, a captive of the Shadow Lord. It is no lie. For one drop of Urson's blood, 
I can help you save him! Choose your last words wisely, old man. <clears throat> Through your bloodline, you and the bear are one. See past your grief. Search your heart. Our person is alive. He speaks the truth. It cannot be! You dare cross the road! He speaks the truth! I'll scream! Silence! We have lost what is most precious. Many say I am at fault. That I no longer have the right to sit on this throne. So I stand. I stand with my people. All of you. And if it comes to it, I shall die with my people. We have been blinded by grief. Ursun lives. And while he fights to draw breath, we fight for him! For Ursun! For Kislev! For Ursun! For Kislev! For Ursun! Kislev! For Ursun! For Kislev! For Ursun! For Kislev! For Ursun! Kislev marches north, into hell. Almighty Sigma, savior of the Empire, give me strength. For though I dedicated my life to eradicating it, it feeds, it grows, devouring all. There must be a final answer to halt its advance. But the tide of war seems endless. The brutal, unthinking bloodlust of the Greenskins. The twisted ambitions of the undead. And though the brave dwarven kingdom stand with us, truly, what hope is it? Against countless horrors that cannot be named, let alone fought by mortal means. is unstoppable. I am unstoppable. I see it now. The beasts that will devour the world.
have fought and fallen times beyond counting. Only to be reforged anew. I feel my humanity dulled. My memories eroded. My burden weighs heavily. In Sigmar's name, we shall bring order to the savage realm. For I am Stormcast, and my war wages eternal. It was in the Palace of Ruin I found Nakari, the Keeper of Secrets. His den of excess was no place for mortals. With every step it whispered promises of all I desire. Like others before me, my soul yearned to be ensnared. But I knew if I succumbed here, he would own me for eternity. I made my revelations quickly, before my senses gave way. Yet Nakari found the tale of Belakor and Urson tiresome. It was a secret he kept already. As my mind clouded, I made a final gambit. I would guide him through the maelstrom to the bear's deathbed. The bear is tempting. The sorrow of a dying god, yours to treasure. A treasure to cherish. I want it, you will give it to me. One drop 
of Urson's blood. That is my fee. Advise me well, and you will have your desire. Fail me, and I will have your soul. The Silvered Tower. Refuge of Kairos Fateweaver, the most powerful of all demon sorcerers. I found the Great Conjurer searching for a spell to pass through the Maelstrom, but his scribe scoured every book in vain. I told him of Urson, held captive in the Forge of Souls, but he dismissed my wisdom. We already know of Belakor's plot, for I see the past, and I see the future. But you are blind to the present. You did not see the Maelstrom, nor can you decipher a path through it. The Tome of Fate holds the answer, the spell we search for. Kill him, brother. Take it. Only I can use it. The tome is bound to my soul. We can unpick it. No, let him serve us. For one drop of good blood, I have foreseen it. Peck out the eyes of Ursa. Use their power to view the present. The sight of a god. The past, present, and future. All will be ours to see. It is the 41st millennium. For 10,000 years, the Imperium has dominated the galaxy. There is only war. Every human soul, from the most highborn lord to the most basic servitor, is dedicated to the service of the God Emperor of Mankind. The Imperium's battle fleets and armies, from the conscripted soldiers of the Astra Militarum to the elite space marines of the Adeptus Astartes, keep humanity safe from alien threats and cosmic horrors beyond imagining. But there is another war. It is the one in which I serve. and fleet engagements. It is waged by the dedicated agents of the Imperial Inquisition. It is fought in the cities and hives of the Imperium. In the back streets and the forgotten sublevels. In hive cities like Tertian. We are surrounded! If the Inquisition fails, if we fail, the Imperium falls with us. In the deepest eons of history, before mankind had even emerged from primordial ooze, the Necrontier dominated the galaxy. But unity receded, even as the bounds of their domain expanded. Fearing the collapse of their civilization, 
the leaders of the Necrontier assailed the Old Ones, seeking to wrest from them the secret of eternal life. The galaxy blazed with the fires of war. Too late, the Necrontier realized the impossibility of victory. Thus, they embraced damnation. The Star Gods, the Catan, walked amongst them, offering prized immortality and long-sought victory. So ended the Necrontier of old. Betrayed by the ambition of Zarek, the Silent King, they were dragged in chains to the fires of biotransference, transmuted from fragile and radiation-cursed bodies to forms more suited for the ravages of war. Stripped of flesh, of mortality, even of their souls, the Necrontier passed from history. Only the Necrons remained. Now enslaved to the will of the Catan, the Necrons at last altered the course of the war. Cosmic battle lines buckled and at last broke beneath a tide of immortal fury. As the last of the Old Ones fell, Zarek led what remained of his people in revolt against their Catan masters. The Star Gods were overthrown, shattered into shards and forced to serve those they had once ruled. But centuries of war had taken their toll on both the Necrons and the galaxy. To preserve what remained of their empire, the Necrons retreated to colossal stasis tombs to sleep away millennia while their domain healed and their rivals passed into dust. Freed from the shackles of time, the passing millennia meant nothing to them. Sixty million years have passed, and the ancient tombs are once more stirring to life. The Necrons, forgotten by all but the Eldari, are returning to claim what was theirs. They will abide no trespassers. With the awakening of their Therion, Kefrek the Unbroken, the Neferu dynasty arises once more. Undying legions stir in the forgotten dirt of a hundred worlds. The reconquest of the galaxy has begun. Oh, Mark. Let the legions die. Oh, Mark. Unleash the power of the Neferu. Our worlds are infested. Scour them clean. This is my hour. Stand firm against the alien, the mutant, the heretic. 
skeptic, I grant no mercy. I give no ground. Forgive my weakness, and grant me your mercy. For we have let our world die. Awaken primary functions from base protocols. Obeisance Illuminoceras. Engage the survivors. Rectify the anomaly of their continued existence. Look around, sister. Where has your faith led you? It is better to die for the Emperor than live for yourself. Whatever that thing is, we can take it. All across the Imperium, tens of millions of lives are lost every second. It matters. Life matters, sister. The Emperor's angels won't save this world now. Be quiet! There's something out there. In the darkness between the stars, the weak and the faithless find no deliverance. We are raised to believe that the God Emperor watches over us all. And so we are charged to cleanse the mutant, the heretic, the alien. We must not falter. We are his sword. We are his wrath. Even in the face of death, we shall not submit.
suffering is our prayer. Faith is our armor. In battle, he offers us redemption. And for those who prove worthy, the Emperor sends forth his angels. a thousand worlds we fight for our survival. Those that would tear humanity down are legion. Our forces are few. Our enemies many. There is no respite. There is no mercy. And in our darkest hour, a spiteful universe awakens forgotten evils to break us. The galaxy burns, yet still we stand, the last bulwark against the terror. And while we draw breath, we will fight. For in this new dark age, there is only... tell the soldiers in their service. The Indominus Crusade meets with triumph after triumph. Day by day we tear Imperium Nihilus from the despoiler's grip, and though we are beset on all sides, with each battle we drive back the mutant, the heretic, the alien. <laughs> As I speak these words, our forces engage the remnants of Leviathan. Reclaiming lost worlds, atoning for old shames, a crusade to cleanse the stars. the fight to the enemy. We routed the Tyranids at Baal. We broke their high fleet. Soon, their foulness will be but a memory. That is what the preachers say.
the spires and the slums.
10,000 years, the Emperor's Inquisition have fought a secret war to defend humanity. We keep vigil in the darkness. We hunt among the shadows. We pass judgment upon the mutant, the traitor, and the heretic. We purge the world of the taint lurking among the stars. We are Inquisitors. We shall fear nothing. For we are what you fear. Defenders of the Imperium do not stand alone. <sighs> Guided by their unshakable faith in the Emperor, they will vanquish the storm. They will be the light that breaches the darkness.
the face of death, I shall have no remorse. It is the 41st millennium. For 10,000 years, the Imperium has dominated the galaxy. There is only war. Every human soul, from the most highborn lord to the most basic servitor, is dedicated to the service of the God Emperor of Mankind. The Imperium's battle fleets and armies, from the conscripted soldiers of the Astra Militarum, to the elite space marines of the Adeptus Astartes, keep humanity safe from alien threats and cosmic horrors beyond imagining. But there is another war. It is the one in which I serve. I did Commencement translation. agents of the Imperial Inquisition. It is fought in the cities and hives of the Imperium. In the back streets and the forgotten sublevels. In hive cities like Tertian. For if the Inquisition fails, if we fail... Chasing the Arch-Heretic and his planet killer towards the Eye of Terror is the greatest test I have ever faced. But my soul is armored in faith. The Imperial Creed guides me, banishing all doubt or regret. The Emperor stands with us and I have felt the purity of his righteousness. I have witnessed his glory burn away the darkness. I have seen the Imperium's indomitable ferocity unleashed upon its countless enemies. I saw courage and honor displayed in the Emperor's name. I saw the unwavering loyalty and righteousness that he inspired. No fortress could withstand the Emperor's wrath. No fury could overcome his protection. The Emperor's light cleanses even the darkest corruption, sunders even the strongest curse. His glory brings salvation to those who embrace his ideals. Even the fallen are offered a chance of redemption in the Emperor's service. Through death, sacrifice, duty, honor. These are what the Emperor requires of us. We have located Solar Admiral Spire. He is gravely injured, said the sanguinary priest. We cannot allow Abaddon to escape. Let our enemies tremble. For the angels of death have come to join the hunt. We shall know no fear.
skies shall light the way, and blood shall spill over the wandering world. The spear of Cain shall call the wayfarers, and the storm prince shall unite them. Their victory shall shake the heavens. Hordes threaten to overrun planet Cyprus. Yet, by order of the Imperial Commander, Inquisitor Holt, Reinforcements were kept in high orbit and forbidden from landing upon the planet. Leaving the Knights of House Warlock on their own to defend against the Rampage. Help arrived when the Blood Ravens descended from the sky. Master Gabriel Angelos defied the Inquisitor's blockade and came to the aid of House Varlock. Brothers, rise! We have aught to kill! For the Emperor! The Inquisitor was not 